Here are the nine best knockouts in UFC history. Number nine. In his second UFC fight in 2021, Yuri Prochaska fought Dominic Reyes behind closed doors due to the pandemic. Many expected a lot out of Prochaska as a former risen light heavyweight champion who slept Vulcan Esdemir in his debut for Dana White's promotion. It was a striker's delight as both men tussled back and forth. Unfortunately, it ended in a brutal fashion, with Prochaska cracking an onrushing Reyes with a spinning back elbow on the jaw. Reyes fell face first in round two and was out cold for a while due to his momentum. It had fans wondering if he was dead in one of the most savage finishes ever in the light heavyweight division. This remains the gold standard for Prochaska's finishes. Number 8. Israel Adesanya put Alex Pereira to sleep. Israel Adesanya wanted his UFC middleweight belt back from Poetin in 2023. He couldn't stand knowing he lost a decision and KO to Pereira in glory, and then got TKO'd in a controversial UFC stoppage in 2022. They ended up trading on the fence again. Adesanya dug deep with his back against the cage in round two. He knocked Pereira out and dropped an extra hammer fist on him to end the rivalry for now. Izzy then launched imaginary arrows at Pereira's body, made fun of his sons, and let it all out. He had so much anger pent up. There was tremendous history, flair and theater to this dramatic, cinematic finish. Number 7. Leon Edwards broke Kamaru Usman. Kamaru Usman was on a tear as the UFC welterweight champion. Unsurprisingly, he battered and wrestled Leon Edwards down for almost five rounds, making it look like child's play. However, Edwards took that iconic speech from coach Dave Lovell to let Usman stop bullying him. In the final minute of the fifth, Edwards pulled a cerebral head kick out the fire and dropped Usman. It was a remarkable walk-off finish that capped a tremendous underdog story. This was pure accuracy, timing and speed, leaving Usman wide-eyed and stiff as a board in another moment that will be hard to replicate. Number 6. Edson Barboza created an iconic KO. Edson Barboza was undefeated when he faced Terry Eatham. For three rounds, he tagged up Eatham, setting him up for a magnificent spinning wheel kick. He caught him flush on the skull and slept him in rapid fashion. Barboza then celebrated in a cold manner, reminding the UFC fans that he was arguably the best kickboxer around at the time. Barboza, to this day, is still regarded as one of the most dangerous kickers in the UFC. It's the stuff found in Street Fighter, Tekken, and Mortal Kombat video games. Number 5. Corey Sandhagen crushed Frankie Edgar. Corey Sandhagen is one of the UFC's best martial artists. He showed this to a legend of the game in Frankie Edgar. Edgar shown at lightweight, featherweight, and bantamweight. But Sandhagen didn't want another contender rising up in the latter. He patiently set Edgar up and cracked him with a flying knee near the end of round one. Edgar was out before he hit the canvas. This was another KO that sounded so loud due to it being in the quiet apex during COVID-19. This shot propelled Sandhagen into the mainstream in a big way. Sadly, Edgar would receive a similar KO from Chris Gutierrez and retire in 2022. Number 4. Joaquin Buckley was a ninja against Impa Kasangane. The UFC has had wild, violent finishes via kicks. Marlon Vera front kicked Edgar to sleep, he kicked Dominic Cruz out cold, Anderson Silva front kicked Vitor Belfort, Lyoto Machida dropped a crane kick on Randy Couture, while Michael Chandler front kicked Tony Ferguson. None had the ferocity or agility of Joaquin Buckley, though. 
Impa Kasongane caught a Buckley kick in round two, but Buckley pivoted and spun right around to punish him via reflex. He caught him with his other foot flushed on the jaw. The sound echoed throughout yet another empty arena. Buckley left Kasongane frozen on the ground, which is something he is hoping to do more and parlay into a welterweight shot. Number 3. Jorge Mosvidal posterized Ben Askarin. When Ben Askarin came over from one championship, the All-American wrestler wasn't living up to expectations. He had a controversial win over Robbie Lawler and then talked a lot of trash to Jorge Mosvidal. When they fought, Mosvidal came for blood out the gates. He unleashed a flying knee, slept Askarin and then hit some super necessary hammer fists. It still stands as the UFC's fastest finish in just 5 seconds. The UFC has had many sub-10 finales, but only Conor McGregor's 13-second KO over Jose Aldo is talked about in this light. Masvidal went on after this to get title shots and pave the way for the BMF belt. Number 2. Max Holloway ended Justin Gaethje in style. The pride of Hawaii, Max Holloway, has long since professed to be the best boxer in the UFC. He proved this by busting up Justin Gaethje for five rounds at UFC 300. It led to a wild final 10 seconds where Holloway called for a punch out in the middle of the cage. Gaethje obliged and, after a bloody flurry, got caught with a shot to the temple that sent him crashing face first to the canvas. It left the Las Vegas crowd electric. This buzzer beater topped when Yair Rodriguez ended Korean Zombie with an elbow at the death a few years back. Holloway showed what the BMF title was about by breaking the unbreakable. Number 1. Francis Ngannou sent Alistair Overeem to the Shadow Realm. Before Francis Ngannou blew up big, he had a massacre of a fight against former UFC heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. The brawl didn't go past the first round with Ngannou snapping Overeem's head back with the nastiest uppercut MMA has ever seen. It made Overeem's neck look like jelly as the lifeless Dutchman dropped unconscious. It was highlight real stuff, encouraging White to push the Cameroonian more. With that kind of power, it was no surprise Ngannou would box and knock down Tyson Fury six years later. This was the epitome of what a flawless knockout artist was about, clinical, devastating and not even garnering a scratch along the way.